tasks dictate what the spawning AI will do and how they'll behave once they spawn. There are two options that control how the AI group will be assigned a task and their other behaviours. So in the Acer Edit group options is the first one and which I covered in the previous video slightly and the other one is through the use of a task module, the Acer Edit task module. So the only difference between assigning a task here or assigning a task with the task module is the location really. So the group options will if you just use those, the, the group will spawn, they'll start performing their task, you know, if it's random patrol or, or whatever. Whereas the task module, you can have the group spawn here and then move to this area and perform their task. So if they, if I wanted to randomly patrol this hill, I could just link them to the zone, link them to the task module, and that task module now would override any settings that have been set in that group setting and they'll spawn and take off to do whatever this task was up here. So I'm going to go more into task modules later. What I want to cover is just the actual tasks themselves first. So the default task is hold until. So if you just place a group down, that's what they're going to be on. And the group's going to spawn and they're just going to stand there. But they will react to seeing an enemy or being told about an enemy. So that as soon as that happens, a team leader will start issuing orders and they'll start moving around and going to combat and do all that good stuff. Whereas hold is they will stay there and they won't move, they're disabled from moving. So hold's used to place units in very specific positions that you want. So, you know, in the corner of a building or, or, or some other place where you don't want them to move at all. You know, edge of a ledge or something weird like that where if they move they'll fall off. Sentry has them walking back and forth like they're at a guard post. They'll have one waypoint where they spawn, one waypoint on the edge of the task radius in the direction they're facing. So if I have a task radius of 20 and I set them facing this way, it's off the team leader too. So if I wanted him to patrol up and down the side of this building, put the put him there and he'll walk back and forth. He'll wait there at his waypoint wait time. So if, you know, set that to 13 seconds. He'll walk to here, wait 13 seconds, walk back, wait 13 seconds, walk back. He'll just keep patrolling back and forth along there in whatever mode you have him in. Sentry animated is similar to hold. However, they'll perform animations and, you know, scratch their heads, check their weapons, all that sort of thing. Patrol, I covered that a lot in the previous video. It generates random waypoints within the task radius and they will continuously patrol, renewing themselves the whole, till they, till they die or get in contact. Patrol perimeter is a bit more specific. So if I wanted them to patrol around this house, for example, in a box, around the house, I would place them facing right at the house and they'll then create a waypoint around the house like that. So whatever you want them to patrol around, put them smack in the middle facing it and they'll patrol around like that. And it's based on the task radius again. So if you make the radius, you know, 40, they'll, they'll go out 40 in a bigger box like that. We'll have a quick look at that one. I'll just speed up time, go into Zeus. You can see they've spawned and they're patrolling around. Again, waypoint wait time, they'll wait at each one of those waypoints. If you just want it to be fluid, put it to zero. We'll leave it at three, that's fine. So the last two are basically moving to buildings. Put it on move to patrol buildings. They'll actually spawn and move to the nearest building and patrol it. Or this one they'll spawn and move to the nearest building to defend it. The difference between patrol and defend when it comes to buildings is they'll um, defend is they'll get in the building and they'll just hold a position whereas patrol they'll get in the building and patrol around the building. One thing to note with the tasks is they actually apply to the occupy building settings. So if I have the nearest building selected so I want them to spawn in the nearest building you can then use the patrol or hold hold until to get them to do the same as the patrol or defend. So if I have hold until they'll spawn in the building and they'll just hold their position until they see an enemy. Whereas if I have patrol, they'll actually actively patrol the building. So I'll give you a demo of that. This first one's patrol in the nearest building. So they're spawned in the building, but they're patrolling around the different positions in the building. Waypoint wait time determines how long they stay in each position. If I change it to hold until, So they spawn and they take up a position and just chill. So just some things to note about the occupying building. There's, there's basically two types here. 
there's nearest on this side and random on this side and there's three different types for each there's group of buildings so group of buildings is three buildings so they'll occupy the three nearest buildings and they'll actually like with my four-man group they'll, they'll there'll be two guys in one building one guy in another one guy in another with the multiple buildings it'll put one member of each group in four buildings however if there's only three buildings you'll probably get the same again you'll get two in one one in another one in another but if it's like in a town heaps of buildings then there'll be one person in each of the nearest buildings from their spawn location whereas random building uses the task radius so this task radius so let's set this up a bit higher so you need to have occupiable buildings in the task radius for these random ones to work. So if I put this here, and they're now being told to occupy a random building, they'll occupy a random building within this radius. So it'll be one of these four buildings here. Let's have a look at that. You can see it's just a random building out of those four. Could have been any of those. So random group of buildings is the same thing again. It's something you probably only want to use when you've got a lot of buildings. It'll choose a random building, so one building, and then it'll choose two others next to it, and the group will get divided amongst those. You can see here, this changes this up a bit. So there's a lot more buildings to choose from. So they could choose any random building within this this radius here. You know, and if you're increasing the radius, you can see you can you can quite random random it up quite a bit. So this as this random group option, they're going to choose one building. So it might be this building here and then the two nearest ones and they'll occupy those three buildings so yeah just the main difference oh sorry random multiple buildings is the same again that you know, with this many buildings there'll be one guy in a random building around the place so it's a good way just to occupy some random buildings with guys but the, the main difference is nearest building will find its own building it'll be the if the nearest building is on the other side of the map that's where it will go so make sure you're near a building but with the random one, you have to have a task. There has to be enterable buildings within the task radius so you're going to get errors. Let's have a look at task module. I'll put one down here. 50, patrol. I want them to do it flat out, running. And I'll set the priority to medium. I think my group. So they're going to spawn here. They're going to run flat stick up there and run flat stick around doing their patrol task. So what I want them to do is I want them to patrol this area five minutes. Let's say for demo purposes five minutes is 30 seconds. And then once they finish that task, I want them to do the same task for five minutes, patrol this area down here. So yeah, 30 seconds, aka five minutes, and then same speed patrol. I then link this task to the first task. They'll patrol this one for five, this one for five, and then they'll bounce back to this one. So let's have a quick look at our awesome 30 second timers. So let's speed up time, going to Zeus. So they're doing the first task. Five minutes is up, moving back up to that other area. And you can link any number of tasks along in a in a long daisy chain. So you know, if you if your players are moving through an area and you want the enemy to follow after a certain amount of time, you, you can do that. So if they're still alive, they'll move to the next area or whatnot. And that's it for tasks. Thank you.